What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome to Loot Hero DX. This is the third key that Varag TP has been kind enough to give me, so I'm going to try this one out too. Now, there are history with games for me, I love Plantera. Not as big a fan of Tap Heroes, but we'll see how Loot Hero does. And this also explains why you get a cameo achievement in Plantera when the Loot Hero shows up, because he's apparently from this game, so... Um, there's all the information by who made it, the settings are pretty standard. Um, this is the first one that I've seen with controller support, which was kind of a surprise. So, we're gonna try it out that way. And we'll start this one. Oh, that's bad. Legendary Dragon is haunting the lands. Towns are set ablaze and its magic power resurrects the evil creatures of the world. The hero is needed to travel to the corners of the lands and slay the beast to restore peace. Okay. So, difficulties, and they're unlocked as you go through them. So I guess we'll start with the woods. Run into enemies to attack, pick up loot, health, and vulnerability. Running back or replaying le previous levels to grind and loot is essential to defeating harder enemies. Okay, so I just literally run back and pound into them. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, and then you can go to the store and spend the money that you've earned to increase various abilities. Defense sounds good. Um, I've got 10, so why don't we increase my attack power and my speed. Wait, what did that say? Go away, level up. I can't see. Oh, speed adjust. Gotcha. Man. I'm just gonna keep going for a bit and see when I actually need to worry about stopping. Okay, we should probably level up some stuff now. So, I like my speed being higher. Um, I guess I'll go with attack power again, and then we'll upgrade critical. Oh, so our actual gear does level up too while we're at it. That was close. Um, level up defense, I guess. And then we'll go back and take out all these guys a couple of times just to get lots of money and health and loot and whatnot. Give me the loot. Huh. I want to get level six. There we go. Level six. Okay, now we've got 161 gold, so let's increase our attack power and our critical and our critical. Okay. Bam! Yay, we cleared through the woods. So, you know, this is actually reminding me a lot of um, Tap Heroes and sort of how it plays, but this running back and forth is way better than just mashing down on the, the left mouse button over and over again. I could play this and enjoy it, and it's super simple and easy to get into, and it doesn't destroy my freaking wrist by the end of the game. So between this one and the last one, I like this one better. And I'm just gonna keep going for a little bit, because I am not in any danger of really taking damage to the point where I'm gonna lose a lot of health. Okay, now I need to go back. Uh, we should upgrade our defense a couple of times, and we'll upgrade speed, because we can. Wah! There you go. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't too hard. Next level. Ah, uh, the swamp. Home to the frogmen. Bye, froggies. Or whatever you prefer to be called. I want to see if I can get through this whole thing without upgrading anything. Yep, I just run all the way through the swamp. <laughs> okay, so the swamp was pretty easy. Home to the Birdmen, the bamboo forest. Okay. 
All right, we got 419. We should level up some stuff here. Uh, attack, attack, critical. Hmm, probably ought to do some grinding here. I took a lot of damage getting through there the first time. Oh, so look at that. If you go from back, they don't actually... Oh wait, that's how they did, huh. Oh, maybe I was picking up health potions all the way that one time I went through there. I really just want to get through here until I have enough money to level up my defense again. Which we're getting close to. I need like 165, I think. So this pass should do it. And... There we go. Well, 164. Come on. Alright, fine. Let's go through it one more time. There we go. Alright, defense. Sweet. And then just run rough shot over everybody again. And we're about to level up again, too. And that'll be the boss. There you go. Yeah, I definitely find this preferable to tap heroes by a long shot. Um, home to the undead in the jungle. Okay, so zombies, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll upgrade critical. Boom, 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 boom. I'm probably gonna need to grind a little bit here pretty soon. Uh, we can upgrade defense again, which I think we should do. And we'll pound our way through this a few times to grind a bit. Get some levels and some gold. It's not hard at all, which is really nice. Gimme, gimme, gimme. go. Yeah, see we've earned like 700 gold just running back and forth here a few times. Doesn't take long. And like two levels. I want to get to a thousand gold and then we'll go back and level up our gear and whatnot. Okay, so now we have 1100 gold. Uh, attack, attack, attack. Uh, speed. Wah! And there you go. Well, I want to grind up and get to another defense boost real fast, and then we'll go take on the, bad, the boss. Especially since we're getting so much money now, it does not take that long to just grind out a thousand gold. There you go. Defense, defense. And since we've got it, critical. Here you go, jungle's done. Nice and easy. I do kind of wonder how many freaking levels there are. Does it say? Nine. What happens after, oh. So this is, well and then it says the Zine? Or mine. That's probably mine. I'm an idiot. Okay. Snow trolls. Wah! After all the grinding I did in the last one, I would not be surprised if we could just run straight through the snowy ones like we did through uh, whatever level it was. Without stopping for anything. Yep. Level to 13, and we win. Did not have to stop at all. Next level, the Dark Forest, home to the werewolves. Okay. Let's pound through all of you, too. I probably don't even have to stop for these guys, either. So far, they have barely managed to damage me. Yep, 
That one's done. Moving on. I kind of want to see what happens after I clear the first area. So we'll go through the ruins and the volcano, and then we'll probably call it for that. Wah! Excuse me, pardon me, you're in my way. Gotta get through. Save the princess. Man. Once you get to a certain amount of gold, you can just pretty much plow through everything. Okay, there. They finally started wearing down me, wearing down on my health, so. We'll spend a whole bunch of points on my defense, and then just go right back to it again. There you go. Problem solved. Might have to grind a bit on the next level, but that'll be fine. Okay, the volcano, difficulty nine. It's the last area of this particular stage. I wanna pick one where it gets to be kinda difficult for us to go through. Which is none of these so far. And that's the dragon. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I do want to at least level this stuff up. So, we'll upgrade my attack again. Okay, and once you hit 10, I guess, it sort of sets back over at 1. Um, so, let's keep upgrading my attack and my speed. Wow. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to have to grind a little bit then. Not a big deal, I get like 300 gold every time I run past here. Level up till we hit 15 and then we'll buy a whole bunch of upgrades and probably call it good. Since we'll have over 2,000 gold at that point. There you go. Uh, I guess... Critical, critical, attack, attack, speed. There we go. Problem solved. And we've beaten the volcano. Congratulations, you've slayed the dragon one time. Now the real challenge begins. Now the difficulty, new difficulty levels have been unlocked. Enemies have grown stronger. Enemies drop more loot and experience. You can choose levels freely, slay the dragon again to advance to the next level. Miner rescued? Okay. So. To collect gold? So that's... So I guess the mine isn't like a whole new set of levels, he just runs off and gathers gold for you. Your miners continuously mine gold for you even when the game is closed, come back here once in a while to collect all the gold they mine for you. Okay. Yeah, I, sorry, I wanted to do that. Wrong button, sorry. Okay, so they said defeat the go the oh, goblins, some rat men. Oh, okay, so now everything is amped up. Now this is difficulty level 18, and these are like difficulty level 10. Um, instead of difficulty level 1. So let's try this real quick and just see what kind of a difficulty it amps up to. Not much. I mean, we were kind of stomping through that last level anyway, so it's unsurprising to me. So yeah, this eventually just turns into, it doesn't take long to clear the, the base game, but then it's sort of like Planteria is, you know, you just kind of go and go and go because it's fun and amusing and that's all there is to it. So, I don't know, I had fun with this game. I think it's definitely worth a playthrough. Um, it's better than Tap Heroes, but maintains the same sort of formula that Varag TP kind of goes for, where it's simple to understand and play and it's just fun for the sake of fun. But this one doesn't cause Carpal Tunnel, which is great. So, I did have a lot of fun playing this, and I will probably play it a little bit more in my off time. Um, it's not something I'll probably play for hours and hours and hours and hours, but I'll probably pick it up every now and then just to goof around for a few minutes in between, you know, whatever it is I'm trying to get done for the day. 
Maybe while I'm waiting for a video to render or something, I'll pick it up and play it for a little while, that kind of thing. Uh, wow. <laughs> um... And... I don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty much all out of time for this episode. I'm just running through now because it's amusing, um, which is a good sign. It means that I enjoyed the game. If you enjoy this kind of game, you might want to pick it up. Maybe watch for it to go on sale or something. Pick it up when it's just a little bit. It's a fun little diversion. It's worth a playthrough. But, at any rate, as I said before, I'm all out of time for this episode. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this and the other games that Barack TP has produced, let me know by hitting the like button or leaving a comment in the section below. And as always, see everyone in the next video. Catch you guys later.